So the criminal referrals for Postmaster General Louis DeJoy just keep rolling in. And that's a good thing, because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So we have seen Donald Trump and his dirty postmaster general, Louis DeJoy, work together, conspire, I would suggest, to slow down the mail delivery to interfere in our free and fair elections. But there have been some pretty good developments on that front in the last 24 hours. As we discussed yesterday, there have already been criminal referrals of Trump and DeJoy to the Attorney General for the state of Arizona, to the Attorney General for the state of New York, and now we've got a third criminal referral, this time to the Attorney General of the state of California, and it came from Congresswoman Anna Eshoo. Here's what she said in a tweet earlier today. President Trump and Postmaster General DeJoy are intentionally threatening the integrity of the upcoming elections. I just urged the California Attorney General to open a criminal investigation into these actions. And Representative Eshoo uh, has a link in that tweet. And if you want, you can follow the link and read the letter, the formal criminal referral she made today to the Attorney General for the state of California. And there's some more good news because I saw an interview this morning with the Attorney General for the state of Connecticut. He said that he is actually meeting with and strategizing with half a dozen other state attorneys general, and they're all about to launch legal actions against Louis DeJoy for unlawfully um, slowing down mail service. There has also been a federal referral to the FBI, a criminal referral made by two members of Congress, Congressman Ted Lieu and Congressman Hakeem Jeffries. Let me read a portion of the letter that just went out, I believe, today, asking the FBI to open a criminal investigation into Trump and DeJoy. Dear Director Ray, the director of the FBI, the House Judiciary Subcommittee on Crime, Terrorism, and Homeland Security has oversight over the Federal Criminal Code and the Federal Bureau of Investigation. As members of the committee, we request the FBI to look into whether Postmaster General Louis DeJoy or members of the Board of Governors of the U.S. Postal Service committed any crimes. Multiple media investigations show that Postmaster General DeJoy and the Board of Governors have retarded, that is slowed, the passage of mail. If their intent is doing so was to affect mail-in balloting, or was motivated by personal financial reasons, then they likely committed crimes. And then the letter goes on to list all of the different criminal offenses that may have been violated by what Trump and DeJoy are doing. And importantly, it sets out the evidence, the facts and circumstances of DeJoy's conduct that seems to violate those federal statutes. And he also threw in for good measure something Donald Trump said that frankly puts Donald Trump in the thick of a criminal conspiracy with his dirty postmaster general. Here's what he said. He quoted President Trump regarding funding of the Postal Service as saying, quote, if we don't make a deal, that means they don't get the money and that means they can't have universal mail-in voting. They can't have universal mail-in voting. They is us, we the people, the American voters, right? It's, that's Donald Trump saying, look, American voters, I know you'd like free, fair, safe elections, but I need a favor though. So for good measure, Ted Lieu also mentions in his letter the fact that Postmaster General Louis DeJoy donated $1.2 million to the Trump Victory Fund. Now, it's not illegal to appoint a 
high dollar donor to you know a high position in the federal government um it's it's unseemly but it's not illegal but here's the worst part in that same letter um congressman lou and congressman jeffries point out the fact that louis DeJoy has a huge financial investment in companies that compete with the U.S. Postal Service. So think about this. If the post office fails, Louis DeJoy succeeds financially. Yeah, corruption, thy name is DeJoy. But there's some more good news, and that is that Speaker Pelosi has decided to call everyone back into session, and she's going to put a post office funding bill on the table. And it's going to be a so-called clean bill, something that just contains funding for the Postal Service. So that's good news. Of course, we're going to have to wait and see what Mitch McConnell does with it once it goes to the Senate. We're going to have to wait and see what Trump does with it once it lands on his desk. And then assuming it passes, then we have to see what Louis DeJoy does with that money that Congress appropriates to the U.S. Postal Service. You know, because crooked bosses aren't always known for, you know, making sure the money gets to their employees, making sure that the services that the Postal Service is supposed to be providing are funded and are provided in a timely manner. You know, crooked bosses sometimes skim off the top. So stay tuned. We'll keep, on, we'll keep our eye on what happens in the next couple of weeks. Um, the other piece of good news is that uh, they moved up the congressional testimony of DeJoy. It was supposed to happen in the third week of September. You know, it's not like time is of the essence or anything. But it's been moved up uh, to next week, the um, 24th of August at 10 a.m. Stay tuned and stay safe. And I look forward to talking with y'all tomorrow.